Hey guys, today we're going to do a tutorial for a ping system in Unity. Um, a system in which you can do various pings, there's audio and it disappears after you spawn it. And it's a ray cast coming out of your mouse. Um, we're going to split this tutorial up into two parts. I'll just quickly go over how you might make the graphics for one of these systems and then the script for it. Okay, to begin with, we're going to create the graphics um, for this ping system. So I'm just going to create an empty game object. We can just call this ping1. And then uh, we're also going to create a quad and we'll just child it to that object. We'll just rotate it so it's visible to us. The face is showing up, so that's 90 in the X. And then what I'll also want to do is create a new material. Uh, this material can be called uh, ping uh, graphic mat. Doesn't really matter what you name it. And I'm just going to go down here and set it to an unlit material. Just going to throw in this uh, graphic that I made earlier. It's just a circle on a black background with um, a corner cut out. Just set it to transparent. Uh, alpha is probably okay. And we're just going to put the material on the quad we made. Okay, and then we're gonna duplicate the quad a few times and I'm just gonna scale it down. So the first one might be, I guess, 0 0.6 and the third one 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. And I'm going to go to the parent and I'm just gonna add a animator and we'll just need to create a animation controller and we'll just call this um, ping one anim uh, as you like name it whatever suits you best and we'll just throw the controller in there um, so now that we've done that we'll be able to animate these I might change the starting position of this middle uh, quad, let's see, is it a rotation in the Y? 90, maybe 180 is what I want. Okay, something like that, just so it's offset, so they're not all facing the same direction. We can go into an animation tab. Um, if you don't have that up, you just need to go to Windows Animation. And then we can create a new animation. So we'll just call this ping anim uh, one, and then save it. And now what we can do is click this record button and anything we move, it will be bound to the frame we move it on. Uh, so just to give you an example here, we might go to, let's see, let's scroll out a bit, go to 200 and then let's see, we can ro rotate these. So the first one we can rotate 360 or maybe we go minus 360. This can go from 180 to 360 plus 180 is 540. And then this last one can also go, let's say minus 360. And so what we've got here is a pretty cool animation as far as it goes. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter. I just play that. Yeah. So yeah, it loops. It, it's not the most complicated animation, but this is a good example of what you can do. You can play around with your keyframes and get the exact f effect you're kind of looking for, but we'll settle for this for now. That seems good. And I'll just pause that as well. The other thing we want to create is the actual floating um, element of the uh, the graphic and for that we're just going to create an empty no we're going to create a particle system and I'm just going to call this a uh, question mark let's say and then on the question mark I'm just going to need a new material for that so I'll create a material and I'll call this question mark mat and this material needs to be URP particles, and I'm just gonna pick an unlit one. 
And then for the base map for this, it's just a question mark and the black background is just alpha on there. So if we, if we plug that in, go to transparent, uh, alpha is probably good. And then that, and then we just go back to our particle system, um, create a duration of one, that's fine. Start lifetime can be one, start speed one, start size one is fine for now. Uh, max particles one, um, emission one over time. It doesn't need a shape and it doesn't need any speed start speed zero. Cool. So now we've just got a particle here and then we can just uh, put our material that we made earlier and put it on there and it's a billboard. So no matter how we're facing, it's going to always face us, which is why we put in the particle system. It's just a very quick and easy way to create a billboard effect on a graphic. Um, I'm just going to have to set all of these to zero. Um, I guess 0 0.1 is better. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1. They, they're not showing, so if I just, okay, so yeah, 0 0.2 might be a bit better. And then ah, that's because this uh, empty game object that this sat in isn't zeroed out. And we'll just put the question mark in as well and zero it out as well. And then if we go to the location and that looks good and we just need to lift it up. Uh, these all look a little high now. So again, it can be zero point one and the question mark just need to line it up right so here maybe there maybe bring it down a little and we can also um, animate the question mark as well so if we go to the exact same spot or if, in fact we'll go halfway record bring it down ever so slightly, then go all the way back to 200 and then just bring it up. And hmm, that's not going to work actually because it's gonna um, go straight back to here. So what I can do is, this is the question mark position. So I'll move this here, this here, this was zero and then this one's 90 wait see this one and this one's the same and then that one is offset and let's just see if that works okay so yeah that works so all i did there was um keep the start and end position the same and then just offset it in the middle so it floats up and down. The other thing we can do here is uh, go into here and set a color. So you can set this to be whatever color you like. We could go red, we can copy this color, and then we can also go into this material and also say it as red. So you kind of have the same looking thing. So all in all, that was very straightforward and we've got a ping system. Um, we're gonna, turn these pings into a prefab. So if you want to make a prefab, you just drop them in here. And now we have a prefab. Where's the prefab? That's ping one. Yeah. So you have this ping one prefab. I'll bring it down here. And if we just play the particle effect, you can see the question mark as well. So yeah, so we have a prefab now. And then from here, we'll be able to make the script that spawns these uh, pings. Okay, so now we're going to want to create the script that's going to manage this system. So I'm just going to create an empty. I'm going to name it ping uh, manager. It's a fine name. And then we'll just add a script, new script, uh, ping manager script. And we'll just open up this script. 
Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do is declare the variables we need. So we need a public camera and we'll just call this main cam. And then we need a public game object and we'll just call this ping one. Um, we'll copy this and paste it and we'll do ping two. We also need to do a public audio clip, uh, call this ping audio one. And we'll do another and we'll call it ping audio two. So I'll just copy and paste that. Okay, cool. That's all our variables set up that we need. Okay, and once you have the variables set up, all we need to do now is set up the input. So if input dot get key down, and I'm just going to use a key like V, for example, to spawn the uh, ping, and then we need to do a raycast. So that would just be ray, call it ray, and then it's just main cam dot screen point to ray and then input will be our mouse position. So what this does here is it spawns a ray at our mouse position um, re relative to the camera. So obviously we're looking through the camera, so the ray will come from the mouse in the forwards direction. Then from there, we will just say if physics dot raycast ray out hit oh sorry raycast hit and we'll call it hit and then from there curly brackets so here we're just going to get this as our um our hit info essentially uh when the raycast is done so we can go if hit.collider dot game object dot layer um, equals equals and I think I've set it to layer eight but uh, I can show you how to set that up in a second uh, then we're gonna instantiate a ping so we're going to go instantiate we're going to say ping one um, hit and then we're going to say oh hit dot point so the point in which it hits and then we're going to say quaternion and then dot identity and then we'll close that up so what this will do is it will instantiate game object ping one and then at the hit point um one thing i'm thinking of though is we don't want it to be exactly on the ground so we'll want an offset so we'll just do a vector free call it offset and call this new vector free and then do a hit dot point dot x hit dot point dot y uh, plus 0 0.1 f and then we'll do a hit dot point dot z and then we'll end that with a semicolon and then we'll just use offset instead of the hit point and this way when it's spawned it will spawn a little bit higher okay so that's all good um we'll also want to play the audio clip so we'll do audio source dot play clip oh no not audio settings audio source dot play clip at point so this will play in a point in the world and we'll just say ping audio one and the location will be the offset so exactly where we set the ping to and now this should be able to spawn the ping so we'll just go back into unity okay and then back in unity we'll need to go into the ping manager and then i'll just go to my prefabs and i'll just put them in so i this is a prefab i made earlier and here's another one i made earlier and I'm just going to put these audio clips in also. You can use uh, the prefab we made earlier in the tutorial and find uh, audio you need for your system. We're just going to drop the camera in as well, so all of our variables are referenced. 
Another thing we need to do is just make sure the ground that I'm using, so it's this, um, this blue squared texture here. I just set it the layer to ground because uh, in the script we're testing for that on the Raycast. So I'm just going to play the scene and if I press V you can hear the ping is spawning and now if I want to set up the second ping we just go back into the script and it's as simple as copying this um, entire script bit of code here go here and then we just change it from V to B uh, instead of ping 1 it's ping 2 and instead of ping audio 1 it's ping audio 2 and then if we go back into unity once again and we play that once more now whenever I press V or B um, these are spawning now you'll notice these are disappearing once I spawn them uh, that's because the prefabs I made earlier have a script on them um, and I'll just go through that script very quickly it's a very simple one um, so we just set a timer, so a, a float, uh, we set it to two, and then in the update method we go timer uh, minus equals, so every frame it's uh, subtracting time delta time, which is the amount of time that's passed since the last frame. Once the timer reaches zero, we just destroy this game object. So that creates the uh, helps the ping get removed once you've spawned it in, otherwise the screen would just be filled with pings. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, uh, please consider giving us a like, commenting or subscribing.